On this workbench, we have a Valtech model control valve, and one of my students here is going to demonstrate the reassembly of this valve uh, without tightening any bolts, of course, just setting things in place. Let's take a look at some of the uh, items we have here. That's the seat ring sitting on top of the body. That seat ring goes inside the body. We've got the valve plug here. It's a stem guided uh, globe valve. It's a standard plug. Looks like it's probably an equal percent trim. We've got this uh, seat retainer here. It's kind of like a cage, but not exactly the same because that plug does not tightly fit within it. The throttling action is done by the end of the plug, not by the windows of the cage. You can see it's a piston actuator instead of a diaphragm. This is somewhat unique for, uh, I, uh, I should say, Valtech uses a lot of piston actuators in their, their valve lineups. We've got the big spring there, piston with the O-ring seal around the edge, and there's the actual cylinder. Let's go ahead and do a quick reassembly. There we go, putting the seat ring into the valve body. And there goes the seat retainer. There's the valve stem and plug. There goes the bonnet. And then a separate flange that holds the bonnet down onto the valve body. Then, looking at the actuator, spring goes in first. Setting the piston inside, see the tight fit with the cylinder. And we have the yoke of the actuator there. And there's a C ring, a clip ring, that, a snap ring that goes inside. It's going to hold it together. And that whole assembly goes on top of the valve like that. Then it's coupled together by the uh, actuator stem with the valve stem itself with that coupling unit. And that's how the assembly works. This ah, is, this is a little different. Ah, okay. Yeah, got a special arrangement there for holding the yoke onto the bonnet. Anyway, that's a uh, basic, <laughs> quick and dirty reassembly of a Valtech control valve. Thank you.